What's in your coffee? I hope you call me And we can talk about our hobbies, yeah Like finding movies to get lost in And quoting phrases Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to my channel. I'm Noelle. Today we are doing a fully furnished apartment tour. I'm really excited to show you guys. If you didn't see my empty apartment tour, I'll link it up here and also in the description down below. Also, don't forget to check out the moving vlogs of me moving everything in. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first you have my cute little entranceway, really just a door. <laughs> and then to the right you have this hook sign that says imagine and it has my keys and my lululemon fanny packs because that's all i really like to carry and then immediately to the right you have my lovely kitchen that opens up into the living room but also to the left of the door we have my storage closet i will give you a sneak peek it is very messy but we don't judge we all have storage <laughs> so then let's start on the right so this is my kitchen. I really love it. It actually is kind of the same um, cabinetry from my old apartment. There is definitely more cabinet space and I didn't have like those shelves in my last apartment, but they're really, they're really cute for decoration, I think. So this is the kitchen. We love to see it. Oh, we also have an island, which is amazing. But we'll get to that. So right here, this is my pantry. We have a lot of lovely snacks. Oreos are one of my favorite snacks. Um, pasta, chips, a bunch of breakfast stuff up here, minus the croutons. <laughs> and then up there, there's just some a Lululemon bag, which cute. But yeah, this is my pantry. I keep my paper towels and like foil and plastic wrap down there. Then we have my dishwasher. Nothing really special. Dirty dishes. <laughs> this is one of the pastry holders. I really don't know what they're called. I got one off Amazon. I'll have it linked below. It's really, really cute. It's really my favorite. And then like the bottom part, it also can like flip over and be like a chip and dip board, which is really cool. So in here we have my dishes. I have two sets of dishes. I have my dishes from Ikea and then I have my dishes from Amazon. Those are the newer ones. So like they're on display over here. So they're really, really pretty. <laughs> and then up top, just my strainer. Moving to the right, we have a salad bowl, my toaster, the plates I was just talking about, and then a little plant. It's not real, because I would kill a real plant. Honestly, they're mostly up there for decor. I mean, minus my toaster, because I do use my toaster, but I thought they looked really cute up there and aesthetically pleasing. Down here is my trash can. I'm not gonna show you that, because you know, it's actual trash and I don't want you to see that. In this drawer, we have my cookware utensils and my knives. Down here is where I keep all of my Tupperware glass containers for like meal prepping, um, juices that I make, and then like some extra like straws and chopsticks down there. Most, no not most, all of these I got on Amazon so they will be linked down below. My paper towels, because those are really <laughs> exciting. I actually need to get a new stand because this one's really wobbly. I don't know how that happened, but it's okay. And up here, we have my glassware. I have a lot of glasses and it's literally just me, but like I like to entertain. So that's why I have so many, but they're all different. These are one of my favorites for coffee. Got these off Amazon. A lot of these I got from Home Goods as well. Then you have my stove and my oven. She's cute. Um, this is my lovely Dutch oven. Yeah, yeah, Dutch oven that I got from Home Goods. I am obsessed with it. It is so easy to cook things in and it just looks really cute just sitting on my stove. So it's a great storage spot. <laughs> Microwave. Up there is just some extra storage. Just where my air fryer box lives. Over here we have all of my spices, my condiments and extra condiments and extra spices. We have in this little corner my straws, glass straws and metal straws because I didn't like having to dig through drawers for them, so I just decided to display them there. Makes life easier. Then we have my utensil drawer, and this is where all of my pots and pans live. And then you have my lovely fridge. I was really excited to have a fridge this size. It makes organizing really, really fun. I did just post an organizing TikTok of my fridge, so I'll have that link down below as well if you want to check it out. And then up here, I just keep all of my water bottles and my air fryer 
and extra chopping things. I have a lot of water bottles, but I did downsize them, so. And then you have the island. It's really bare. Normally I have fruits in here, but the only fruits I really like to eat are clementines, and I actually put them in the fridge because they're just better cold. And this is actually a cutting board, but you can use it for like a charcuterie board or anything, so little decor there. Then down here, I have my mixing bowls and my measuring cups. <laughs> I have extra mugs down here because those mugs came in the new Amazon dishware set that I got. And then those mugs are from CB2. And this one, we have the bottom part of my blender, some extra napkins, trash bags, and then my cutting boards underneath. And then this one has my Nutribullet in it, my tea kettle, and then all the shopping bags that I use, reusable shopping bags. So directly from the kitchen, you go to the right and you have my dining table. I really don't use this unless I have people over. So it really just sits here, but it's from Ikea. It's really cute, simple, basic. Yeah, she just lives here. <laughs> now we enter the living room. So over here, we have my coffee cart. So we have my Nespresso machine, my Keurig, uh, Nespresso pods, and all of my mugs that you could possibly have. I have a lot of Christmas mugs. I need to get some fall mugs. Then you have these two pictures that I hung up in one of my moving blogs. So you have feel good music poster and One Direction. Then you have my blue couch. It's definitely a statement to have a blue couch in your apartment, but I really don't mind. One day I probably will, but that's not today. You have this cute little plant from Target. Then you have my, what is this, like centerpiece or something? It's from Ikea, so it also holds my blankets, which is really convenient. And I just have like a few books, some tissues and the remote. And my lovely Roku TV. Um, and there's a little picture of baby me. <laughs> some hand sanitizer, a fire stick, and coasters. And down below we have my Wi-Fi, some books, my Yeti mic, and then an old jewelry box. My guitar fits perfectly out here because it's blue and I have a blue couch. Makes sense. Then you have my bar cart. I was debating hanging the picture that I originally had hanging over here in my old apartment, but I don't know. It just wouldn't match the color scheme in here, so I didn't hang it. But yeah, bar cart, self-explanatory, alcohol, glasses. Pretty cool. So, from the living room, through the dining room, through the kitchen, <laughs> You go here, and this is my bathroom, bedroom, but first we have the in-unit washer and dryer. This is a big, big thing for me. I love having it in-unit because it just makes doing laundry so much easier, even though doing laundry isn't fun in general, but I just have to go right from my bedroom to here, so I have no excuse not to do my laundry. And then close that door. We have my bathroom. It's really cute. It's a black and white theme, if you couldn't tell. So these pictures I got from, I think it's Postry. I got them when I moved into my first apartment. And I just took them with me here because they're really simple, but like also really classy and cute. Normally I have a black towel here, but it's in the wash. <laughs> my black bath mats from, I want to say Marshalls. And my white shower curtain, and then in the shower, I have all of my lovely shower necessities. <laughs> and then above the toilet, we have these really cute shelves that I got off Amazon. This one is actually supposed to be hanging, but as you can see, it didn't want to hang. So I just patched up the holes and put it on top, and it still looks great. So we have toilet paper, so we have toilet paper on top, and then a candle, actually two candles on top. Then we have me, hey. Then we have a plant here, which is fake, of course, because, you know, kill a real plant. Just can't take care of them. And we have my hand soap and then toothbrushes. Then this is where I store mostly everything that I own. <laughs> so my towels are up here. All of the skincare. <laughs> more skincare, more body stuff, hair stuff, more hair stuff, medicine, and extra little things like, um, what are they called? Contact lenses and stuff. 
period stuff, and then all of my travel containers. And then these drawers are messy, so don't judge me, but we have my main drawer and then my main hair drawer. Then underneath, we just have all of my cleaning supplies that you would ever think you would ever need. <laughs> so then leaving the bathroom, we go right, and you go right into my bedroom. I love this bedroom. Number one, there's so much sunlight, which you can't tell right now because we're facing the sun right now, but you'll see it in a second. But as you walk in to the right, is my closet so I'm gonna go in here real quickly it's kind of messy but she's also kind of organized my water is in here I don't really know why so is my phone I was looking for that but it's okay it's my closet and then you turn to the left and I have this clothing rack that I got from Target actually and or maybe it was Ikea no, I think it was Target, one of those. And I actually have clothes on here because I'm working with Fabletics this semester. So these two pieces have already been on my Instagram, so go check them out. This one is coming, it's for October. And then you walk, you walk, you walk. You have my backpack for school down there where he lives. And then we have my little TV, some books that I really need to read. I'm almost done this one. I'm getting there. <laughs> And then you have my lovely bed. I love my bed. The bed frame is from Ikea. The bed sheets and the comforter or duvet is from Target. Yeah, from Target. That pillow I think is actually from Home Goods. But this is really cute. I wanted a different different kind of color vibe because my old duvet was like bluish green, like a pale bluish green though, and it was kind of boring. So this one spices it up a little. Yes, my walls are bare. I like it that way. I like a plain, clean background in case I actually ever do want to properly decorate, which I will one day. Let me have my side table that has this clock on it from Amazon. I've had this clock for years, guys, years. It's really great. And then a tissue box. My nightstand drawers are messy, so we're not going to go in there. And right over here, we have my lovely desk. I think this is the one thing that really, really made me excited was having a place to have my desk in front of a window so I don't feel like, you know, crying every time I sit at my desk. I can, like, still look out at the world and be like, hey, guys, I'm working, but, like, there's a world outside. But yeah, so you have my Mac Studio, my to-do list, my phone stand, my desktop, or what's it called, the display, keyboard, mouse, my actual laptop, my laptop stand, and then in the corner you have this really cute lamp, that's from Wayfair, it was actually originally in my old living room, but now it's in here. I think my desk, I know I said this already, but my desk really just makes me happy, it just looks really organized. And yeah, you leave the room, say bye to Fabletics, okay. And then you walk right back into the kitchen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed showing you guys my apartment. It's really fun to film these kind of videos. So comment down below and tell me if you liked it or not. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.